Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Tai Chi White Edition. As you know, we already reviewed the Phantom Gaming Edition and uh, what an amazing graphics card it is. But today, we'll be taking a look at the Tai Chi White Edition, which features an overclocked GPU with a boost speed of 2680MHz, the default is 2500MHz, and a game clock speed of 2510MHz, the default is 2300MHz. It also features 24GB of GDDR6 RAM with a memory speed of 20 gigabits per second. It comes with the Tai Chi 3X cooling system uh, with alternate spinning fans. I have the card right here, and as you can see, the card is quite a big card, with a massive heatsink, uh, eight heat pipes, and uh, three uh, fans, the Tai Chi 3X cooling system. It also has uh, three eight pin PCI power connectors, as well as the LED on off switch at the top here, as well as dual BIOS for quiet operation or performance, and you switch between the two. It also comes with a nice reinforced steel frame, as well as a nice back plate for extra stability and cooling. The Radeon RX 1700 XTX is AMD's flagship GPU and features the RDNA 3 architecture and comes with 96 uh, ray tracing cores and 6144 uh, stream processors. The total board power is around about 355 watts, so we recommend a power supply of 850 watts or higher. The card is quite large and uses a 3 PCI slot space, so make sure your case has plenty of room to mount this card. The package also comes with the GPU stand, which allows you then to mount this graphics card and uh, prevent it from sagging. On the top here, we have the Tai Chi logo, and uh, this should light up with the RGB along with the ring center fan right here. With an overclock GPU and the Tai Chi's X3 cooling solution, love to see how this card will perform against other Radeons that we've tested in the past, and of course, see how it compares with the uh, GeForce RTX 40 series. We'll be testing this card using a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D processor along with an X670E motherboard and 32GB of DDR5 6000 RAM. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig and uh, see how it performs. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock Radeon RX 1700 XTX Tai Chi White Edition. Comes with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. It's the OC edition. And uh, let's take a look inside the box. Okay. Okay, inside we have the quick installation guide and the Tai Chi postcard all right okay let's take a look inside all right we have the uh, graphics card holder you can mount this onto your case and also uh, helps with the uh, weight of your graphics card and we have the graphics card itself let's take a look Here we have the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Tai Chi White Edition. It's quite a big card as you can see. Uh, it's got three fans there, the Tai Chi 3X cooling. And uh, notice there's a LED ring around here that lights up, giving you some nice RGB. And also notice the fins are in opposite direction so this spin this fan will spin this way this fan will spin this way to give you that kind of uh, airflow for cooling all right we'll start off the top right here we have uh, three of the eight pin pci power connectors right here that will need to drive this card and along this side we have the led on off switch and that gives you, of course, the LEDs on and off. And we have the dual BIOS, uh, the performance, and also the quiet mode. OK, 
Okay, so that gives you some extra boost in performance. And a nice back plate right here. And you can see it says Tai Chi brand there. It's quite nice. Metal back plate gives you that extra stability and it helps with cooling as well. Here you go. And notice at the top right here, we also have the uh, reinforced steel kind of bracket. Again, helps with the uh, stability and rigidness of the card. Here we have the Tai Chi logo that lights up with the RGB along with the, uh, the ring LED in the center right here as well. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, heat sink for cooling. Lots of fins there and you've got heat pipes in here as well. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heat pipes along the uh, heat sink to give you that extra cooling. Let's have a look at the video outputs. Okay, here we have one HDMI and three display port. This is the uh, display port 2.1 and uh, gives you the option there for your monitors and notice the uh, slot space there it takes up to three pci slot space so it's quite a, a big chunky card and uh, it'll take a lot of room all right so this card should perform slightly better than the phantom gaming edition as it uses an overclock gpu uh, running with the uh, boost clock at 2680 the default is 2500 and then, of course, the game clock at 2510, the uh, default is 2300. It uses 24 gigs of GDDR6 RAM with the memory speed at 20 megabits per second. We'll be testing this card using a Ryzen 9 7950X3D along with a X670E motherboard suitable for all the latest Ryzen processors. We'll also be using 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 RAM and running Windows 11. We'll see how this compares with the other Radeons that we've tested and also against the GeForce uh, RTX 40 series. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Tai Chi White Edition. Compared to the Radeon RX 7900 XTX Phantom Gaming, which we reviewed not so long ago, the Tai Chi White OC Edition offers a slight improvement in performance. But when you compare it against the GeForce RTX 3090 and the RTX 4070 Ti, this card easily beats them hands down. We still haven't tested the GeForce RTX 4090 yet, so I can't comment on that comparison. What makes this particular card so attractive for me is the fact that it features a dual bar system and this can be accessed via a flick of a switch to select between performance mode and quiet mode. During our test, we used a pre-built system provided by ASRock, which is comprised of an AMD Ryzen 9 7950 3XD and an ASRock X670 Steel Legend motherboard, along with 32 gigs of DDR5 6000 RAM. With performance mode bars enabled, I got extremely good scores in all of our benchmarks including an impressive score of 162,518 for Geekbench and for Unigen's Valley benchmark, we got a score of 10,277 and a Final Fantasy benchmark score of 19,974. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K, we got an impressive score of 15,305 and 19,284 respectively. For 3D Mark Time Spy and Fire Strike, it produced an excellent score of 25,006 and 46,089 respectively. And finally, for Speedway and Port Royal, it produced an amazing score of 5,743 and 14,001 respectively. And lastly, but not least, we got a direct X ray tracing score of 50.24 frames per second and a Passmark 10 GPU score of 19,496. These amazing scores is all thanks to the factory overclock GPU with a boost clock speed running at 2680 MHz while the game clock speed runs at 2510 MHz. The all-white shroud and backplate 
make this card perfect for anyone who wants to build an all white themed PC. The LED on the center ring fan as well as the ASRock logo on top of the card lights up when you power up the card and this makes this card look so good. You can turn the LED on and off using the switch located on the top edge of the card. As with all Radeon graphics cards, you don't need to use the new PCI 5 power connector, which means you can use your existing power supply as long as you have three 8-pin PCI power cables. And just make sure you have a minimum power supply of 850 watts or higher, but I recommend at least 1000 watts. For cooling, this card uses the impressive Taichi 3X cooling system, featuring a massive heatsink with 80 pipes, reinforced frame, a metal backplate, and three striped ring fans. It's more than enough to cool this graphics card, even with an overclocked GPU. At full load, the temperature of the GPU and hotspot reached a high of only 52 degrees and 90 degrees Celsius, respectively. I've always wondered to myself what's so special about the ASRock Taichi edition of their graphics cards. Now I know why. Not only do they look good aesthetically, but they also offer excellent performance thanks to its overclocked GPU. The ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Taichi White Edition easily beats the GeForce RTX 3090 and the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti in most benchmarks. And I'm more than happy to say it's perfect for any hardcore gaming enthusiast who wants an all-white graphics card to match their all-white PC build. You can check out the full review on our website at fuckit.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 XTX Tai Chi White Edition, featuring an overclocked GPU and offering excellent performance with great aesthetics. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKip.com.